on the team that starts this played over six years. So you know it's a young group that backs it to the wall. There's a hard hit put on Tony Reed as he comes wide. The city opening sequence of down following the kickoff. No score. Fuller dropping the throw. He's got some time. It's running out on him though. And Fuller's going to run the football and not very far. He'll lose more yardage. As Steve Fuller, who was a rollout wishbone type quarterback at Clemson, tries to get upfield, L.C. Greenwood, 68, knocks him down. Shut to the back. Fuller taking a drop now, steps in and swings it out. Williams has the ball and there's nothing there. As Joe Green catches Mike Williams, knocks him back. And Gruff hits a good one. T. Bell returns just about all of them. Here he comes across the 40. Look out! He's across the 50 and down to the 46-yard line. This is a great football team heading perhaps towards the fourth Super Bowl win of the 70s. A swing pass goes up to Rocky Blyer, and Blyer is hit from behind and driven down to the 45-yard line, so they get back the penalty yard. Bradshaw. Left her loose, and out there is Lynn Swan with a one hand catch for a first down to the 26-yard line of Kansas City. What a great football play. Well, it's really thrown with the intention of if anybody gets Look it, maybe that. Lynn will. He came down with it. They've got a first down. They're on the move early. Well, they give up to the opposition on the effort. Pitch back. Here's a fleet record. Bradshaw throws to the end zone. Still will put down Pittsburgh. So the Steelers go into their bag of tricks to get points up early. As Bradshaw and the flea flicker just lifts it into the end zone and Starworth is there. Don, you almost don't expect a team like Pittsburgh to try anything fancy against Kansas City. Here they come on the first, on the first series of plays, a little flip back, and credit this play to Bradshaw. He got the ball and in a very short time got the ball off to Starworth. It looks like get their first possession into the end zone. They lead the game 7-0. We'll be back in a moment. Dig in and try to go after that football again in the rookie quarterback, Steve Fuller. Go to the run, and there's nothing there. Joe Green, 75. Jack Ham, 59. All move in. Dwight White now in. Wide receivers to either side as Bradshaw takes a deep drop. They give him time. He lets it rip. Swan goes way up and intercepted. The ball is picked off. Herb Christopher has the football. Or Milton Carter takes it back and brings it over the 50-yard line, and it's an intercepted ball. They'll rule he stepped out at about the... Now we'll see where they spot it down, somewhere inside the 50, but Kansas City has the ball back on a turnover at the Chiefs 49-yard line. Fuller takes a drop, here's a blitz from the strong safety. He didn't get him, Donnie Shell, but Jack Ham coming did. And Pittsburgh has the football right back. <laughs> All right, they fooled, they fooled the young quarterback in the first series of plays with a blitz on second, 14. He couldn't execute his screen. This time it's a play-action pass on first down. He does not expect Donnie Shell to safety blitz. Sylvester hits her across the defensive front for Kansas City. Harris, he outruns him, dipping to the outside. And Harris takes the ball all the way down inside the 20-yard line of the Chiefs. Gary Green, the left corner, finally ran him out. He's in the game now, 89. They go back to the run to the Steelers, and they go to Rocky Blyer on a first down and 10 and gets it down inside the 20-yard line. Running wide is Anthony Anderson. Number 33 takes it down to the 15-yard line, and the Kansas City Chiefs stop. They attempt for a first down on third down carry. Whitney Paul, 11 for 15 in field goal attempts this season. This will be a 31-yarder. Holt quit holds. Kick is up, looks to be there. With three possessions, they have scored, and they now lead the game 10 to nothing. We'll be back at Arrowhead after this. Team to Kansas City as a free agent, leads the NFL in punting over 45 yards of punt. And he gets a lot of work. The punt downfield, T. Bell takes a look at it, and he goes in the danger. He fumbles the ball. Let's see there's a game. Fights on. Let's see. Down at the 17 yard line, inside the 15 now. There's going to be four it, it, people on it. It just doesn't matter because he wasn't given an opportunity to yeah. catch the ball. Bentley Marker is down. Brody at Arrowhead Stadium. Fair catch, interference against the kickers. First down. For Pittsburgh, three wide receivers in. Bradshaw looks long, pumps and throws. Stallworth has the ball. And John Stallworth loses it. He caught the ball, took it downfield, fumbled it, and the official signals apparently that he got it back. Line of Kansas City, three wide receivers in as Bradshaw takes the deep drop in the flat. Up in the air, and down with the ball is Jim Smith. Wide receiver of the University of Michigan, Herb Christopher, drilled him. Coach called him the best college receiver he ever saw when he was at Michigan. 
Bradshaw fires and gets his tight end, Danny Cunningham, and the big guy from Clemson just muscles his way down to the five-yard line. Pittsburgh at the 16-yard line of Kansas City. Bradshaw takes the drop, looks in the end zone again, fires it. Swan, did he get in? Touchdown, Pittsburgh. All right, what a spectacular play. Two unbelievable receptions in this game by Len Swan. By hedging Green off, didn't allow him to get as deep in the end zone as he would like to have. You can see there's a pretty good distance between Swan and Green at this point. And I think Swan helped that situation by with his hands a little bit. But uh, we don't catch him all. That's a touchdown for Pittsburgh. End of the football game as they've been doing against all their opposition recently. 11-19 to play in the first half and Pittsburgh leads the game 17-0. and It'll be kicking it off again when we come back. As Kansas City goes for it, third down and almost 10. Wing pass goes out to Reed, got some room to operate. First down and more, turns to the outside, and Reed gets to the 35-yard line. All year long, and they do need a few more. Speculation, too, that they could go for Brad Buddy, the All-American from USC, who's a son of Ed Buddy, the former All-Pro for Kansas City. Third down and two now for the Chiefs. They go to the run. Morgato turns up field, he's got the first down. Arnold Morgato puts his head down, gets across the 45-yard line. It's a first down for Kansas City. Lincoln scoring with 264 points. Their rushing average the best. Their defense against the rush the best. Here's the throw by Fuller. It's up by the tight end, Samuels. And Tony Samuels crashes down inside the 40-yard line of Pittsburgh and down to the 35. The Steelers lead the game 7-0, 17-0. Fuller throws it through. Almost intercepted. Jack Hand had it and was heading for a touchdown, or so he thought, until he looked back and saw the football. For John Stennerud all year long. Yeah, and hasn't hit the long ones this season. He's got that one. The distance is there, but he is wide. And so, a long field goal attempt and a threat of points by Kansas City comes up wide. Down 15 for the Steelers. Bradshaw takes the deep drop. They've got the rush on him now. He swings it out. Got a man, Rocky Lyre. 40. And ahead is Rocky Blyer to the 45 or 6-yard line, and he got a first down. Offense, big plays has been the order of the day for Pittsburgh, and here is Rocky Blyer taking it out to midfield. The former Notre Dame captain, who might be in his last season, he said. Sky, Steelers 17, Kansas City nothing, and on second and six, Franco Harris brings the ball inside the 45-yard line of the team. The wing formation now, Grossman goes in motion. A third and less than a yard, Harris turns wide, turns up field, and Franco Harris has another Steeler first down as he brings the ball inside the Kansas City 40. Flank with Stallworth and Swan to the right. Third down and 11. Bradshaw stands in, he throws, and Stallworth comes back at the ball at the 26-yard line and catches it. 14-0. Terry Bradshaw now leads the National Football League in touchdown throws this season. He has 20, including two today. The pitch back to Franco Harris. And Harris, picking his spot, moves outside his blocker and takes it inside the 20. Challenging again. Handoff goes and a counter to Rocky Blyer, and he's down to the 16-yard line. Art still 67, knocked him down. Bradshaw gives off to Blyer. Out in front of that play was Jerry Mullins, number 72. Art still made the tackle, but Rocky Blyer gets the ball down to the 9-yard line. Steelers challenging third down and three. They lead the game 17-0. They go to Franco Harris, and he's down inside the five-yard line. Art still on yet another tackle for the Chiefs, but the Steelers are knocking once again. To the line, Bradshaw rolls out. He looks, he throws. Even for Lynn Swan, there was too much to go after on that ball. And that brings up fourth down with six seconds to play. John fires into the ball, and he's got it right up and good. And so with three seconds left to play in the first half, the Steelers extend their lead to 20 to nothing. Bradshaw ready down, a third down and three. And up to Blyer, stands up up front, Spaney grabs him, knocks him down, along with Sylvester Hicks, number 75. It's second down and 11 now. Marshall goes in motion. Fuller takes a look. Throws over the middle, a good, well thrown ball, and it's caught by J.T. Smith. And he is down to the 45-yard line of the Steelers, a gain of 15 yards and a first down. Shot in the third quarter, moving the football. It's going to be second down and six for the Chiefs. Ball at the 42-yard line of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Reverse. It is a reverse, and there's room to run. Fuller throws one block. 
And Marshall takes the ball down to the 30-yard line. Boy, they got the swing of the Pittsburgh defense moving left. Now for Kansas City at the 30-yard line of Pittsburgh. A lot of motion in the offense now. Marshall goes in motion again. And Kansas City takes the ball with Mike Williams carrying right at the Pittsburgh defense. for the rest of the season. The pitch back goes to Mike Williams. He's going to turn the corner. And Williams gets the ball inside the 25-yard line. As they go to the wing tee. Six offensive linemen in the game. And off. And Arnold Morgado didn't get much as he loses about three yards on the play and a penalty marker comes in on top of the football play. It's a long time. Rills the ball, gets it up in the air. He got it. Jan Stenaru from 43 yards out hits the field goal. And for the first time in the game, the Kansas City Chiefs are on the board, failing 20 to 3. Cleveland's is coming back. We'll get more, more of those scores. Brown's now down 16-10. Uh-oh. Steve Fuller never got a good look. Robin Cole, number 56, who has his weight way down. Robin was telling us he's down to 218. He's faster and he's just as strong. 14-13 Cincinnati over San Diego right now. Chargers rallying back in that game. Swing pass go. Oh, that's not going to work. Trying his best to get the ball, but not succeeding for Kansas City with Mike Williams. J.T. Smith is backfield at his 43. Get out of my way, man, and J.T. Smith turns up the sidelines. He can take it the distance. Smith, a fine punt returner. Right now, we pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC television network. Turnovers are number one in the league there, too, with 33 through today's game. On third and nine, Fuller steps in. The ball goes up. And that was intercepted. I think they got it before it hit the ground. Dirt Winston made a leaping grab at the ball, and apparently he's going to be credited with an interception. That is one of the most am amazing reactions to a ball that's fumbled in midair of anybody I've ever seen. Passing down, bringing an extra defensive back. On second down and seven, Bradshaw throws. He's intercepted. Picking the ball off is Tom Howard. He's back inside the 40-yard line of Pittsburgh and back to the 35. That's the first time today that the Chiefs defense have forced a bad error on the part of the Steelers. The Jets 14 to 6. Joe Ferguson going for a touchdown. Kip ball is caught by Morgato. Penalty marker. No, it's an official's hat that flew in. <laughs> Somebody got his hat. On a third down play. Third and nine. They got the ball back to the line of scrimmage, and that was all. In coming up. Bradshaw dropping to throw. The big rush comes, and Bradshaw swings it out to Rocky Blyer. He gets ahead for first down yardage, but there's a penalty marker down, John, in the Steeler backfield. And it looked to be thrown in that area where they call holding again. Holding, number 91, <laughs> declined, <laughs> first down. Nine, we're down 16 nothing to Seattle. They now lead the game, does Cleveland 17-16. Bradshaw throws, and Benny Cunningham catches, and the big guy keeps on working upfield until he gets to the 46-yard line. The defensive back on a long yardage, and the Steelers go to the three wide receiver. Bradshaw steps in, loops it downfield, and the ball is caught by John Stallworth, and he takes it down to the 26-yard line. So Stallworth, who is over 900 yards in receiving yardage this season to lead the NFL, and also has 50 catches for the year. Two of the best in the game, Stallworth and Swan deployed to the left. And Swan at the lower left-hand portion of the screen. Bradshaw steps in. He has a problem. Elusive. Bradshaw is hit as Kansas City is really starting to play. Bradshaw takes the drop. Stands in. Fires. Putt. Lynn Swan comes back at the ball. He was hit hard. Barbaro got him coming over the top. But Lynn Swan, all pro that he is, some say he's the best in the game, makes the catch. He did make a, a fine catch, but it was a, the defense really won that battle. Because to seven. That came in the fourth in the third quarter, 4-0-1 to play. Barr's field goal attempt is up, and he's having a good day. Matt Barr, three for three on the day, hitting all his attempts for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And they up their lead now to 23 to 3. And we'll be back with the Steeler kickoff after this. Hunter. Levy is not hesitant to change if he sees a better player. He cut the third leading punter in the AFC last year and kept Grupp a free agent. Look what he's got, the leading punter in the league. T. Bell takes the kick 
returns it back inside the 45-yard line. Leads San Diego 21 to 16. Now running the ball is Anderson for the Pittsburgh Steelers as some of the shock troops start to get work. That was Anthony Anderson, a rookie running back out of Temple. Second and one inside the 35-yard line. They go to the run, and Rick Moser, a big power back from Rhode Island. A second-year player, 225 pounds, special team player, gets a call from scrimmage and hits ahead for a first down. Or for Oakland, they now trail Houston 28-17. Anderson runs with the ball. Gets the ball inside the 20-yard line. Beating the New York Jets 14-12 at Chase Stadium. Bradshaw looks into the end zone on third and seven. Throws with a man hanging on his leg, and he's got Lynn Swan at the goal line. Oh. Guy had a hold of Bradshaw. Sylvester Hicks was trying to wrestle him down. Bradshaw, 218 pounds, stood there and rifled it with just the arm. Bradshaw swings it out. Man is open. Larry Brown, a former <laughs> tight end and a tackle eligible, moves into the end zone and gets a touchdown on his first points of the season. Well, he, you know, he's got all those pads on his hands. You can see him trying to catch it with his elbows. <laughs> he's just happy to have a ball in his arms in the end zone. And it is 30-3 Pittsburgh, and we'll be back at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City with the Pittsburgh kickoff after this. Fuller drops the throw. He's looking long. He's not going to get it away as he is hit and dropped. The whistle blows, signaling a sack before he went down. And in there to get him was Steve Furness, number 64. Rocky Blyer is the up back to block. Spiral hit well downfield. With the ball is J.T. Smith. Looking and weaving. Here's the guy that's run two punts back for touchdowns this season, 188 yards out. To get to eight and three is a big step for them and a, and a good move to the playoffs. Seven and four puts them right back in the hunt. It looks like it's going to be a long way up for Oakland from now on. Look. Maintaining himself well against an offensive and awesome defense for the Steelers. Bumble football spoke too soon. Fuller lost the ball. Robin Cole took it on the one hop. So the Steelers have it back with 17 seconds left. They cannot run the ball up the gut and run the game out. Well, that's going to do it. The clock is ticking out. The Kansas City Chiefs fall to the powerful Pittsburgh Steelers, 30 to three. The best place to have Pittsburgh is right off your schedule. Kansas City doesn't <laughs> have to play them again anyway. That's where you want the Steelers. You got them where you want them when you have them off the schedule, I think. <laughs>